be dust mopped at least twice each day. Frequent dust mopping keeps dirt and loose soil from being ground into the finish and helps protect the appearance of your floors. Screening and recoating. When the finish wears, loses its shine, and will not respond to buffing, floors need to be screened and recoated with Wood Star. Screening and recoating is performed twice a year under normal conditions. Remove all furniture and movable objects. Mark off your work area with safety cones and signs. Dust mop the floor with an untreated dust mop. Screen the floor using a 175 RPM buffer and wood floor screens. Use a new 180 grit screen to remove only the top damaged coats of finish. Quick tip. When screening the floor, swing the floor machine over the dust created while screening. This helps you to remove only the top damaged layer and extends the life of screens. Dust mop the floor again with an untreated dust mop and wipe dust from windows, sills, door frames, and baseboards. Vacuum to remove excess dust. Tack the floor using damp Turkish towels or tack cloths. Immerse the cloths in water and wring. Then place on the floor under a dust mop frame. Overlap the cloths over the frame and tack the floor making sure to overlap each lane. Use the two bucket method and multiple cloths for this job. Apply one or two coats of wood star finish using a T-bar applicator. Pour wood star into a clean watering can with a plain spout. Pour a line of finish about four inches wide down the length of the floor going with the grain. Use the applicator at an angle to spread the finish, directing the excess to the unfinished area. Walk quickly, smoothing turns and using the excess for each successive pass. Pour a new line of finish as needed. Allow the finish to dry completely between coats, at least one to two hours. After three days, the floor will be completely cured under normal conditions. After curing, burnish the floor with a Pioneer Eclipse Ultra High Speed Burnisher and a Blue Blend Pad to bring out a deep, wet look shine. Remember, never burnish a dirty floor. If the floor area has been completely closed to traffic for the entire curing period, dust mop thoroughly before burnishing. If traffic has been allowed on the floor, clean the floor using the daily maintenance procedure. After burnishing, dust mop the floor one final time and you're ready to replace furniture and movable objects and remove warning signs. Three simple steps are all it takes to keep your floors looking great. One. After the initial sealing with wood prime, apply four coats of wood star and burnish after curing. Two, maintain floors daily by dust mopping, auto scrubbing with Eclipse Neutral Cleaner and burnishing, and always wiping spills immediately. Refresh the finish twice a week with rebound. Three, screen and recoat floors twice a year or as needed. By properly following these procedures and keeping a disciplined schedule of routine daily maintenance, your wood floors will shine beautifully for years with the Pioneer Eclipse Wood Star System.